of the winner. I'm sure butterflies are flapping around in your stomachs, especially you, because you're first. And uh, that's normal. We've been through it before. I know yes. you've been through this before. And they will face the last hurdle of the evening, the final question. So while waiting for the girls, thanks to Quick Thoughts, the official Q&A team, for preparing for all the official candidates throughout their journey for tonight's competition. Hello. Hi. Hi, Steffi. Hi, Andrew. Hello. Mayang Gabi. Ma Mayang Gabi. It's a long time. It is. It's been I haven't seen you for about two months. <laughs> but it's nice seeing you here in Cebu. Yes, well, how as do you always. feel like competing again? Um, it's a whirlwind feeling for me. It's a roller coaster ride. Uh, it's been 10 years since the last time I was on this kind of stage, but I'm very grateful and I'm very honored to be able to share with uh, 19 other beautiful candidates tonight. Wow, lovely. So Confident, let's check. Uh, if our... You can tell she's done this before. <laughs> yeah. She's done this before. You can tell. So but... each finalist will be asked the same question which is sealed and placed in a white envelope. Do we have the white envelope? Is there, there? a white envelope here? Oh, I'll go over to you. Oh, you're going to come to me. Thank you so much. Hello, Ms. Mitch Padaihag, Michelle Padaihag, the founder of Quick Thoughts. Dagang salamat. And of course, it's sealed to ensure its confidentiality and will be given only 30 seconds to answer. Of course, to make it fair, the waiting finalists would have to put their headsets on, which they do have now. And they'll be listening to some, uh, I don't know, rap music or rock music <laughs> so that they cannot hear the question or the answer. Okay. So I'm going to answer. Oh, sorry. I'm not going to answer. You're going to answer. I'm going to read <laughs> the question twice. And once you hear the ding. That's it. That's it. Your time's up. Okay. Let's try to check our girls. Are you girls ready? Yes. So they can't hear anything? Are we good? Let's try to check. Well, if the lady is going to raise her hand, who's gonna win a house a lot? Oh, okay, I think they're good. <laughs> so once again? This is really sealed. <laughs> Did you use Mighty Bond? Or Do very strong help? saliva? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so you're going to read the question okay. twice? So here's your question. If you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would be, a, what would be it and why? Once again, if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? If I were to create the headline, it would be Cebu empowering stronger women because Cebu is known to be a very open city and what I love about Cebu is we are very welcoming and we do love and we empower our women. We build communities for stronger women and that is future universe that we can share to each other. Dagang salamat kaninyong tanan. Thank you so much. Cebu City North. Thank you. Perfect. And perfect timing as well. She only had 30 seconds and I think she used up about 28. Now let's have our next lady. Bantayan Island. Where are the fans of Bantayan Island? Hello. Hello, Doc. Hi. <laughs> How are you feeling at the moment? You've, you've won a lot of awards. You're one of the favorites. What? what? I'm so grateful. I am just so grateful. That's all I can say. Do you have a yes. message to your fans out there? I think you got like a lot of fans over there. I feel so blessed to have the whole Bantayan Island with me tonight. This is all for you. Walang nagbabantay ngayon ng Bantayan Island because they're all here. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Do you want to read the question? You do the honors, oh, Okay. Mind. Your voice is more beautiful than mine. <laughs> so, Bantay and Island, here's your question. If you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Once again, if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? That headline would be 
free quality healthcare now available at Pantayan Island and the rest of Cebu. Because that would mean my vision and dream has been realized and that we are moving towards a more progressive Cebu. Because when Cebuanos are healthy, we become more productive. When we become more productive, we can make Cebu a more globally relevant and progressive Cebu Island. Thank you. Well said, Bantayan Island. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Flawless win, flawless answer. So after this, are you heading to Bantayan Island? Next I definitely day, am. Right away. But I think they're too smart for me. <laughs> they're too intelligent up there. Oh, hello. Hello. City of Talisay. Yes. Wow, I love your gown. Thank you so much. It you is look stunning. Regal. Are you That's ready right. for your question? Yes. Yes. She looks like she's born ready. She's born ready. So, Talisay, here's your question. There's that sound. <laughs> That's your question. That's 30 seconds. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's start the question. Oh, I was waiting for a ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Once again, if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? My headline would be Cebu, where reality turns into dreams. I've always dreamt of becoming I miss Universe Philippines. But ever since I moved to Cebu, a lot of opportunities has opened up for me. And tonight, I'm standing here in front of you all, and I'm proud to say that because of Cebu, I'm one step closer to achieve my dream, and that is to become your next Miss Universe Philippines. Thank you so much, Talisay. Thank you so much, Talisay. I love the energy. Beautiful and gold. I love the energy. Now, Let's call on our next candidate. Lapu Lapu City. Lapu Lapu City. One of my favorite Hello. cities. Hello, Lapu Lapu City. Hi, Miss Steph. Hi. <laughs> oh, what is your favorite part of this competition? Well, the favorite part of this competition is getting to know the other girls and their stories. And uh, what will you do? If you, what's the first thing you'll do if you win tonight? Well, first of all, I would thank God and my family and then the supporters and then the organization. <laughs> will you eat any fast food? I will eat every fast food chain I will went to. <laughs> yes, After I'll join this. you, I'll join you. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, are you ready for your question? Yes. Yes, okay, big smile. If you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Once again, if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Women with a purpose. Miss Universe Philippine Cebu 2024. That would be the exact headline. We are not here just because of the glitz and glamours and the beauty, the elegance and grace. But we are here to share our stories that is meant to inspire our fellow Cebuanos. And I hope that my fellow Cebuanos can learn something from us and that is to always stand up to, to yourself. And always remember that a Cebuano who stands up for herself is a Cebuano who stands up for all Cebuanos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lapu Lapu. Yes, Thank indeed. you, Lapu Lapu. We are here to share our stories and inspire people. And that's what the bell sounds like. Ding! Yes. Ding! <laughs> oh, yeah, I just did it with my voice. <laughs> now, hello there. Hi. From what place are you? Ming Lanilia. Ming Lanilia. Oh. Do you want to say hi to your friends and families over there supporting you tonight? Hello, Minglanilia Hanons, and hello, Med Friends. Thank you so much for supporting me. I know you're quite busy, but I'm just really happy that you're here with me right now. Thank you. You know, I've never been there. That's why I can't pronounce it, because I never have had to. If you were to convince me to go, what, what would you say to convince me to go to your place? 
the festival is quite lovely in Minglanilia, so you should experience Sugat Kabanhawan Festival during the Holy Week season. Holy Week, okay. So you should come back here during the Holy Week. I should. <laughs> okay, are you ready, Minglanilia? Yes. Okay. If you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Once again, if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Good evening. It would be polycystic ovarian syndrome medications now free in, C in the entire island of Cebu. As a medical student who suffers from PCOS, I advocate for free medications, breaking the stigma, and acknowledging that PCOS is a problem of hormones, reproductive system, and of course, your, your weight problems. And when we address this issue, this is a step towards empowerment. And when we empower all women, we can be the best assets of Cebu and to the universe. Thank you. Thank you so much, Minglan Lilia. Thank you so much. Best asset to Cebu and the universe. Next yeah. up is San Fernando. Hello, San Fernando. Hello, Queen Steffi. Oh, I love your makeup. Who did your makeup? Uh, actually, I've been crying, so I've kind of messed it up. But it's Miss Cha Cha Nable. Cha Cha Nable. Uh, these were the tears of joy. Yeah. That and the tears of mentioned. joy. You remembered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How do you feel? Did you expect to be standing on this stage at this time of night? To be honest... This close to the crown? I'm so happy to have come this far and I wouldn't have done it without my supporters, with the children that looks up to me, and of course the people that believed in me all the way. Wow, thank you so much, San Fernando. Are you ready for your question? Ready. She's ready. always ready. If you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow, that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Once again, if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? Cebu has the most number of childcare facilities in the whole country. Being here in this platform, being in the spotlight has been hard for me, to be quite honest, it has been challenging. But knowing that there are children looking up to me and knowing that this headline would be soon possible with my hard work, it would be worthwhile. And I am very blessed to be holding this microphone right now and being heard by all of you. So the headline that I would choose is Cebu has the most childcare facility in the whole country. Thank you so much, San Fernando. I love that. I love that answer, San Fernando. Thank you. Last but not the least, Car Car City. City. I love the lechon in Car Car. My favorite. Yes, it's very good. Have you it? tried? I have, and I've been oh. there too. Oh, that's nice. Hello, Car Car. Hello, Miss. Beautiful in green gown. Do you have any questions? <laughs> I was waiting for you. <laughs> I was so mesmerized by the gown. <laughs> You're mesmerized by her. <laughs> so, hello. Hello, Miss. Oh. What are you listening back there? It's an upbeat music. That upbeat I don't music. Know. We've always wondered what the music is. Now, that's we were, our question. We what curious. is the music? I don't know the title. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me more about Car Car. Well, Car Car is known for its heritage city of the South, and I believe that beside that, you have more to offer. It's people, the Karkaranons, it's culture, tradition, and I believe it is what makes Karkar, Karkar, to move forward into a more progressive society at this. I like that. Wow, I love Karkar. Okay, I think, I think she can go now. Yes, that's your question. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. Are you ready for your question? Yes, okay. I am ready. Okay, you are ready. Okay. If you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is so socially relevant, what would it be and why? Once again, if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is socially relevant, what would it be and why? It would be 
Miss Universe will be the platform to address sustainable development goals. Miss Universe platform has been an avenue for Cebuanas, despite differences, to collaborate and unite. And I believe if we collaborate together, then we can move forward causes that are relevant to the marginalized. And I believe this will be possible if we continue to collaborate and unite despite differences. Then we will be move for moving forward as one Cebu. Thank you. Thank you. Car right Car City. Car Car City right on the dot. 30 seconds.